What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Sunday Morning Markup. It's your boy, Mr. P. And I need you guys to lock in. If you haven't yet, go to pimpinandeasy.com. Make sure you join the free profit channel. Also, check out Sway Funding and definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. Hit the like button, all that cool stuff they be talking about. We are currently on tour, man. There's some cool stuff going on. We are in Houston next. Uh, it's pretty dope. Houston is on May 30th. I think like the next 10 days. Also, make sure you lock in with the best broker in the game, in my opinion. And a lot of free game on last year's boot camp. The end of 2023 was lit. So make sure you guys check that out as well at pimpinandeasy.com. All right, let's get into it. We sold a cat last week a couple times in the chat. We hit TP1 a couple times the last time. We got we got stomped out, but that's after we hit TP1 like two, three times last week. Pretty good gains on this play. And then when it finally hit our stop, we just, once we got that break above our structure, we just left it alone. But as you can see, it was a nice break and retest. Should have gotten in on the retest, which is pretty nice here. It broke our structure here. It's a nice structure. It broke through and then it came back and retested this structure. And now it's currently up about 20 something pips, which was nice. So on this weekly, this weekly it has closed above this preview the, our green structure so I'm definitely looking for a continuation for the buy let me check out this monthly yeah we're gonna get a hopefully we can get a retest off of somewhere up in this area here that would be nice Nice close above on this monthly. Let's see what that looks like on the weekly. Weekly bullish engulfing just closed. So this may be our zone. Get rid of some of this. Like this just may be our zone 500. It just may be our zone. Nice break above. I think we can get this pullback. This would be nice if we can get that in another continuation to the upside since we did get that break. I want to see price come back and touch this trend, though. To be honest. We'd love to see that. Do got a nice W forming. Somewhere in this area would be nice. In this green area would be nice for a buy. Just keep your eyes on some type of retest off the weekly. This weekly bullish and golfing zone would definitely be an area I would shoot my shot. Right around this zone, 90500 area. It's a lot of imbalance down here. So price may spike up in there. You probably got to do a little bit more digging on the analytics, but I do like the break of structure. We got higher highs from here. So yeah, let's keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. It's super bullish right now. So I think we can just ride that momentum. Like I said, it might just come dig up in here and then continue to the upside. But ACAD definitely, definitely bullish. It closed bullish last week. I was waiting on CJ up here. We did catch this sale last week. It ended up bopping us out and then ran the play. And this is an example of what I mean by close above and close below. So this literally closed below the previous. It spiked up there, but it ended up closing on this on this particular time frame. So six hours go to the day. So it closed above and then it created a bearish engulfing. Hopefully it sells off again. It's looking like it wants to sell off again. But I do like this uh this 
I believe it's the four hour. This is zone up here. Right up here. I do like this zone for the for the sell off. That was a nice sale. It took us out and ran a play. What is that? 115, 300 area. Let's see if because we do have a four hour bearish engulfing. We have a daily bearish engulfing zone as well. So it could just tank here and come back down to 12, 112, 300. Like it could just do that right now. Create a W and maybe go make a new high. Let's see what this weekly weekly super bullish. We have a bullish engulfing zone. It bounced off this zone here three weeks ago. Then it made this bearish engulfing. So I like this weekly zone too. I'm uh, I'm looking for some type of short as long as it doesn't break above this four hour high. Right now it's in a nice zone. Potentially can sell off this zone. Something like that. It's also a daily zone. That's nice. But I think this would be come get those highs, come take out the liquidity. This is what I will be waiting on personally. This shoot up right here. And then the downside. That's what I will. That's what I'm waiting. I would love to see that right there. I'm kind of salty. We missed this play last week after it took us out. Should have got back in. But this is what we're looking for, CJ. Definitely a push up there. It may respect this, but this is our this is our next sales zone. You can get in with proper risk to reward on this. I think you can risk about 20 pips, 20 to 30 pips for 100. I definitely keep an eye on CJ. EG sold off. It's still in this weekly consolidation. It's still in this zone. It's playing in this zone. It's actually flagging up right now. It's flagging up nicely. It's still in this box right here. Hasn't really broken out of that box. As you see, we're waiting on some type of break and retest out of this box. Still haven't got it just yet. Um, The daily, no, this weekly close super bearish, but it's been consolidating like really tight in the zone. As you can see, like these weekly candles are super tight. They're not really going nowhere. They're kind of playing and coming right back down. So I'm just going to wait on the breakout on EG. Waiting on the, some type of breakout out of this weekly consolidation. So when we do get the breakout, I think we'll get a retest off this structure. It is a nice zone here. I would love to see you get touched. Maybe come take this out and then come back up. But this is the zone. I, I, I like this whole zone right here. So if it keeps playing in this zone, then uh we're gonna keep buying at the at the at the foundation, at the resistance or support. Right. So we're looking for buys here and sales here until it breaks. That's what we're looking for. On EG. Oh, that was a nice sale. A couple of weeks ago. Was that like three weeks ago? It's a nice sale. Nice head and shoulders here. Shot up. Looks like it's retesting. This is our buy zone here. This is where we would like to buy. We did a continuation, which would be nice. If price can just come off this here, little here, little here. It's just going to make that a trend line. That would be nice if we can get a buy off this zone here and take it back up here. Let's see if we can find something on the daily. I do like this area. Um, as long as price doesn't break this zone here, 
I'm not mad at it. We got an alert set here for the buy off the weekly time frame. On GN. It's also a four hour zone right here. Nice zone. It's a couple of them actually. Zone here too. I do like these areas. Dun, 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 dun. All right, what is this? Gen. I do like those ones. We do have an alert set here. We're waiting on price to come down there. I think we can get that pull back, at least back up to the zone here. So even if we risk a couple dollars from here, there's 20 or 40 pips, 100, at least back up to the structure here, 100 to 180 pips. That would be a nice play. And if it breaks this, you can potentially get back in on the retest off of the structure and just take it back down. So even if it breaks here and we get this pushed down, it's still some good pips on the reversal side. 30 pips for 50. If we get that break. But I'm looking for buys on EN around 2.5. 2.0.5600 is what we're looking for. Do, 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 do. Yep. That's the area we're looking for as far as buys on GN. NZDJPY is bullish. I don't know where she's going. We didn't even want to give her no attention today. US 30, man, I want to see this thing fall. I really do. I know it made new highs. It did close above this on the four hour. What I'm looking at, though, is. Um, let's see. Ooh, it is daily. The daily look nice. So I was trading off the double top. Then it. Closed above. Of course, we know US 30 is bullish. It's going to stay bullish for a while, but it's a lot of imbalance down here that has to get hit. We have a break at, at 36,600 that never got retested right here. I want to see this thing come back down here. It has to come retest the zone. It never did. It just broke, broke. It never came. It left a whole bunch of imbalance here. I'm not sure when we're going to get this drop, but this drop has to happen. We have to come get this nice retest off 30, 36.6 is what I'm waiting on. Right now, we're super bullish. Super bullish. The monthly, this is what I'm looking for the monthly to do. I'm looking for this monthly to close below. Every other time frame is close above. I'm looking for this monthly to close below this previous month. So we still got 12 days left in this candle. I'm looking for a pullback and hopefully it closed below below this this previous monthly high, which is like like 39,900 area. Something like that, 39,8. I just want to see it close below here. So we still have 12 days. I'm really curious to see how this 12 days play out. I want to see a little pullback. So I am looking for shorts, but we're waiting on confirmation. I am in a couple trades as well on US 30. I'm currently in the red. I am in the red on those trades, but nothing too major. It's uh, definitely doable. We are not over leveraging our account, but I'm going to see, I'm going to see this thing drop. I'm going to see the monthly pullback. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Go hit for uh, 2400 
like Millie was waiting on. We did get a close above, a nice close above 23, 23.9, 23.90, 23.92. Nice close above there. This daily is crazy. I would love to see a pullback here and then the potential continuation to the upside. So even if price breaks, right, price has broken this level that we that we're looking at. Now I would love to see if it just give us a pullback and then continuation. So this would be ideal, right? And then make some new highs. Or if this daily get engulfed, then we could be coming back down before we go back up. But it's a lot of imbalance down here, too. I don't know when go coming back down here, but it's definitely a lot of imbalance. Gold's been buying all year. All right, the weekly did close above. The daily did close above. We have tons of imbalance all the way down to 19, 1800, 1850. It's pretty crazy what's going on with gold. It's super, super, super bullish. We got gaps and and opportunities down at sixteen. So this is pretty, this is going to be really interesting to see what happens with gold. So I'm excited about this. Um, just being patient as possible. I am in a sale. Uh, let me see. I did sell it. I did. I ain't gonna. Lie. I sold it on. Friday. I wanted to I knew you did. I knew you did. I'm in the red though on a couple positions though. Don't get me wrong. It's on my account right here. So I'm not I'm minus 65 bucks. You know, we ain't over leveraging nothing. Our margin is good. You feel me? We got a couple positions. And okay, yeah, I sold it too. I saw a little bit. But, a little bit yeah, my mine are green 30 pips. So oh, cool. Yeah, I'm up 15 pips on one entry, and I'm down. I'm down what 200 pips on one entry. So, yeah, so my I hope it opens bearish, like at 2400 is what I would like. Yeah, I would like that too. At least come down and retest this. Uh, what's that? 20, 2395, 23, 24 flat. Like, yeah. Somewhere down there, at least give me a hundred some pips for the drizzle. But yeah, uh, definitely bullish. Um, I'm really excited about this week to see what gold's going to do. Like it's as far as this spike, as far as body, body, as far as the body of the candle, it's highest. It's it's at a high it's never been before. Like this weekly, nothing has closed this high before. Now we got wicks. Right, but as far as this body closing at twenty four fourteen, it's pretty sick. Like it's pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I'm curious to see if it respects this or if it just get bearish really quick. Um, I know it's a lot going on, a couple of wars out in the world, but that's just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. I really would love to see it tank. Eventually, it has to come fill in these gaps. Trust me, eighteen fifty is coming. Right, it's coming down here, family. It's just a matter of when, right? It's coming down to 16. It's coming down to 1650. We don't know when. 1665, 1650 will get hit. Not sure when. I definitely want to be in that short. But it's a it's a lot of stuff going on with no this. time soon. I don't think it's coming anytime soon. I don't think I don't so. Know. It's running. But I really want to see 2100. Like, we didn't really get a clean. We got this break, but we never, like, right here at this blue line, we got this break, but we never really got, like, a solid retest. Yeah, there. I mean, honestly, I would just keep looking for buys. Like, I know you're talking about you want to be in the sale, but I would just oh, 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 oh. I mean, I'm waiting on confirmations, but you're right. But see, this right here, like, this was a clean break and it never touched this thing again. It just be like all this right here, all this the weekly time frame too. This is just super bullish candles with no type of retracement whatsoever. Yeah, like, I mean some event has to happen, right? Because the dollar is so bearish that um 
Yeah. With everything going on in the economy, I think gold is going to fly unless something drastic happens that brings in dollar strength and sets mm-hmm. gold up to, to sell. Like, we would need we would need damn near another pandemic. Something's going to happen. It has to come. I don't know when, but something gonna happen for it to for to make it come back down here. But right now, go to super bullish. We are just getting our fifty to a hundred pips every chance we get. We did call out. We did make some money in gold last week. If you're in the chat, we definitely made some good money on gold. If you were in the chat, we definitely made some good money. We smacked for over about two hundred pips last week. Uh, I took profit at like 50 to 100 pips. Every 50 to 100 pips, 80 pips, it dropped 100 pips. So we did take a bag, you know what I mean? So that's a blessing. If you are in the chat, we did sell in this zone. It was wonderful. We, we smacked for twenty for 50 to 100 pips. And then I wish we would have gotten in that step by. Because we'd be about three, 400 pips. But we don't like the old trade. But at the end of the day, it is running it just broke above here and if market structures want to be if you want to run the play this is definitely a retest off this on for continuation so be on the lookout for that uh we will send out anything that comes to mind but other than that do you guys have what's up josh you guys got any questions or anything else you want to look at that's pretty much all i run through on sundays look at EA. Yes, um, Lord. I, I'm, I did I'm, call out another buy on EA. I'm going to tell you, I've been looking at EA. I'm going to tell you what I really upset about with myself because I wanted to sell it when it came to this zone. Yeah. I wanted to sell it. We bought it. It bought up and it bounced right off this daily zone here. I was like, oof, right up here. This zone right here. Right yeah, off we, we were at least uh, I want to say 80 pips in profit. Oh, yeah. Oh, we definitely that's why I took my money. I definitely did. I took my money because of this song here. It got two days of rejection. Okay. Just take my bag. It's respecting that area. As you see, we got a nice support level here. They got broke, retested, right? We got this play. I want to see it pull, pull in here. I think it's going to come down a little bit and then shoot up. Just Can you off. zoom in on your daily, like where you got them words? Yeah, just because of this, like it closed below this heavily. Like this is okay. not really, really closed below. Nice and strong. So I think it's going to So come because from- it didn't close below the wick, that's why I got back in. I think it's going to come dig into this, to be honest. It could. I but I think at, my stop loss was only like 20 pips. So we'll see what happens when it opens. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm still holding on this four hour. My stop loss is down here somewhere, but this four hour candle, it didn't close because I had a buy, yeah. buy limit here. I'm currently in some drawdown. As you see right here, I'm down like eight, nine pips. So that right there, like, but I think it's going to come do this. To be honest, just based off the way the day be closed, I think it's gonna come dig into some of this right here. Some of this, some of this. What's it? Did you go to the weekly? What's it doing on the weekly? Well, it's been low key selling on this weekly. See it closed bearish. I'm looking at this zone. It might just do that. See this? Mm-hmm. Of course, at this first, but this is this is the next. Like this is a nice level of support. So, yeah. So, like from where it's at, it hasn't made a lower low, right? Or higher high. So, it may come it might consolidate. It may come make a teacup, make it a teacup right here. Something like this. If it does come down here, you know what I mean? 
Yeah. Just... I so so I held the body because on the four hour it didn't close below the body. Yeah, I'm still in the body and too. So that's why I held, but I mean my stop loss is before that. I mean below but, that candle. So solid foundation right here. So as you see, we got a break here, a little push in, but it respected it. So maybe we'll get the respect here. It is flagging. It may come down and do that. Double bottom. And then we'll get the push up. You know what I'm saying? But I do like this area here. Slap in yeah. down. You know what I mean? So, you know, it could do it could do numbers. I, I really want to see it buy up. I mean, I mean it, but I did eat really good. So like even if that stop loss do get hit. It's fine because we ate off of it real good. I ate real good off that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yes, sir. Glad it worked out. Glad it worked uh, out. It shot up. What was that? Wednesday, Thursday. It just shot up. It's like, yes, Lord. So, yeah, if y'all don't got any more questions, man. That is it. We will be live this week. Make sure you stay tuned for the for the chat. I think we will have uh, a a, mil a millionaire session. You feel me with Jay Millie, and uh, also we will be live New York this week. I believe it's Monday, Wednesday, for sure. Monday and Wednesday we will be live. Any any additional calls? Just check the chat. We will send a link out if we just happen to go up. But other than that, family. You have a blessed, productive, and profitable day. And make sure you go to pimpinandeasy.com, get some of this free value. It's a lot of free game on here. Enjoying our free community. All right, and subscribe. Other than that, happy trading. Peace and blessings, family. <laughs>